So uh, a person of, I, I'm sure Fox is covering this uh, 24-7 because it's a, a black person is uh, the suspect yes. in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, a lot of speculation already. We'll talk to Frank about how they break this all down, but I know a lot of people on TV were saying that uh, this is a heavily Asian area that's been specifically the target of a lot of anti-Asian hate around a lot of uh, attacks. And so they don't know yet, right? We don't know you know, whether it was racially motivated or what, I, whether it's yeah. just a mentally ill person. I guess on this this person of interest's yeah. uh, Facebook page, um, he was posting a whole bunch of stuff yeah. against New uh, York. Er- Eric Adams. Yeah. And homelessness, yeah. yeah. So they upped Eric Adams. Right. Uh, He's not necessarily detail. the suspect. He's just yeah. a person of interest. Yeah, no, I have yeah. to talk to Frank about because I don't know how they put this all together, yeah. but they have, so he's the guy that rented the truck. They right. found the key to the truck in the right. subway. So they have like a mountain of evidence already. That points to this guy. But they, yeah. don't, but the they don't have the guy. Right, but they ha- they can't specifically connect him to the Facebook post, but that's what right. they suspect. And, and yeah, and where the is this guy would be the main That would, if right? I lived in Brooklyn, that's what I would be asking. Where the F is this guy? Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. anywhere in New York at this point, because yeah. he's had a day to travel. Yeah, yeah. and also the fail, the uh, video failing in that particular subway station. They were saying that I would be willing to bet you money there are more cameras than you would expect yeah. broken in right. subway stations. Yeah, yeah. not it's, just that. Yeah. One. It's a yeah, yeah. It, it's a maintenance issue. I don't think it's a you know a yeah conspiracy. Yeah. Um, oh, listen, we know from technical. Oh, we know from maintenance. Yeah. We could have, like, I don't know, Barack Obama call in unexpectedly. Yeah. We'd be like, oh, all the technical failed. We don't oh, have that. Oh, the phones aren't working. Sorry, Barack. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oops. Our bad. Oh, we missed that. Oh, well. Okay. We'll just have to, just trust us that it happened. <laughs> it's, Maybe, a, it's a miracle Obama that any of these. was so tickled by something yeah. he heard, he just called in spontaneously. It's, Chris, a miracle, it's a miracle that any of these cameras work. Right? On any given day. Yes, and some days I wish they wouldn't, depending on how my genius cell's working. <laughs> what? I see Chris is the only one who got to talk to Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> just have to believe Krista. Remember when uh, uh, Melissa Etheridge used to call yeah. in and we didn't believe it was her either? Oh, yeah. We made her sing. Yeah. We actually did make her sing. We're we like, did. this is not. No, it is. She was a good parent, though. She didn't uh, listen until after she dropped the kids off. Right. Yeah. Smart. Right. And then she invited us to her show, backstage to her, at her show. Yes, and we went. I, and we went, and she mentioned me I, on stage, remember? And then I thought I could die then. But okay. I wasn't able to go because I was headed out right. of town the following week remember, and Jim couldn't did, go. <laughs> you loser. I know. Remember Jim did Simon Cowell when we made her sing, and he's like, that is the worst Melissa Etheridge I have ever heard. <laughs> Were you answering the phones then? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. He's too tall. That's, that's, that's when, you know what? what? He, he's, what he's, does that He sized with... out. He sized out of that job. Because it's a tiny little closet. No, this was at the, yeah. at right the other station. station. I mean, he has some talent and intelligence, but I, mainly his height he is what got him out of screening. He was at a normal size cubicle yeah, at the other station. station. Oh, that was in the that real, the real, real state, office. The real yeah. station. <clears throat> real engineers, real support. Right. Technical problems weren't a thing. Before we tumbled down into my basement. A real TV network. Yeah. current TV. It was like an avalanche. I just pulled you down with me. Oh, I was just like, come you know. on. It'll be, it'll be fun. We had nowhere get else the, to go. Get in the flying saucer. It'll be in the basement. <laughs> You'll never get out. It'll be fun. Who needs engineers <laughs> and reliable power <laughs> and internet? Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, so uh, what else here? Um. Yeah. So, okay, wait. I need. I, this is a prank stack. Okay. I mean, I have to say the miracle is uh, apparently his gun jammed. Yeah. And that no one died. That is... I got to say a miracle. I mean, he, so he did the smoke. First of all, okay. There was a lot of liberal helpers that reacted to our pictures of Marjorie Taylor Greene's spork feet. Yes. But of course she had stupid comments on the subway shooting. But wait, first, hang on. Let me get to my liberal. Do you have liberal helper music? Because I feel like we just report and you decide, right? Because you posted the photo and said, you just said, could Marjorie Taylor Greene's feet service sporks we report you decide and we speculated that she could eat kentucky fried chicken coleslaw and mashed potatoes and gravy separately so that you didn't mix them for right because she has two feet. spork yeah. feet yeah um eric said uh if she could fly i bet she could snatch a fish out of the water with those talons see that's nice it's just that's, i mean that's useful for her if it's she useful does not in congress and she needs to feed hunt herself. and gather right if she needs to hunt right um which is what they did back in the days of the hugh, flintstones right exactly hugh she does look like Barney Rubble yeah. in a sleeveless His dress. sister. And she does have Fred Flintstone feet. A lot of driving. You know what I mean? A lot of... Yeah. Um, Hugh says on that sandy beach, MTG's uh, feet would be excellent clam rakes. So... This is... 
Have you ever used it's a clam rake? It's not like she's completely useless. That is a no. I have not. I have. Actually. I love clams. I have actually used That's a clam rake. That's not a lesbian joke. I really? Know. I have used a clam wow. rake. Wow. Yes. Okay. Well. And you're right. Yeah. Her feet do look like clam yeah. rakes. Yeah. Okay. So you're welcome. You're welcome. If this Congress thing doesn't work out, she yeah. has a future in clam yes. breaking. Yes, yes, and she can feed herself. If you teach a man to fish, or well, if you teach a spork foot to snatch fish from the water, little melted butter, she can eat for a, lifetime, for a lifetime. I'm paraphrasing. What? A little melted butter, a little yes. lemon. Yes, It'd be yes. delicious. Yes, okay. What was my point? Oh, is that, of course, she said the answer is more guns, because that would have been perfect in the, with the smoke. Yes. So no one could see anything. So right. just if everyone just was armed firing. and everyone just fired randomly, that would have been a much better uh, outcome. So, oh. yeah. She said, uh, right, uh, with New York's strict gun control laws, how many innocent people were carrying a gun when the bad guy with a gun broke the existing laws and started shooting people? Right, implying that New Yorkers should have shot into a crowded subway car that was also uh, uh, engulfed with smoke. Yeah. Okay, uh, so the governor said the individual is still on the loose, person is still uh, dangerous, and uh, yeah, so we will talk to Frank about all the latest on that, and maybe, you know, if we get any breaking news this morning. So, all right, uh, but uh, nicely, you can almost count on her, right, on sport foot, uh-huh. like... Say something stupid? Yes, yes, on cue. You're like, oh, I, I'm going to guess with the uh, smoke-filled thing. She's going to say that everyone should have fired uh, random. It's just like in the, remember the darkened movie theater. That also would have been a fantastic idea if everyone just started uh, shooting at what they thought might be the, the shooter. And that would uh, that would have been a fantastic scene. <sighs> what the? Okay. So uh, a lot of, oh, we have a lot of just general criming to also talk to Frank Laguzzi yeah. about at the uh, at every level, right? The Trump on down. Roger Stone's mm-hmm. friend. Ro- oh, that guy? Yeah. Oh, do we have the actual oh, audio? Oh, This guy, Sullivan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we got the call. This? Wow. <laughs> okay, so this was the call to, I can't remember now. The Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys. And oh, the First Amendment Praetorians. Correct. And yeah, the, the I, militia I, that was going to cause the Civil War. If, yeah, right, and he can promise you Joe Biden will never be in that Oval Office. How'd that work out for you? He's going to do something, and it's going to be to where people are actually going to be arrested. He very well may call it an insurrection act, but there may be, I, I foresee a limited form of martial law, and I don't see any other way around it. Mean, Biden will never be in that White House. That's my promise to each and every one of you. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so that would be regarding the president declaring yeah. uh, martial law. Right. When they invaded the, um, or raided the Capitol. Correct. Okay, here's one more. He's not going to allow them to descend on all the cities and burn all of our cities down, for one. Uh, and the, the main reason for that is because if they, if he did allow them to do that, our militia would step up and meet them with great force, and we would, therefore, find ourselves in a civil war. There's no question about that. So this would be one week before the angry yeah. mob descended. Okay. That just happened to happen. It, it was just spontaneous, this right? like a promise and not a threat. Right. This is a Roger Stone aide. He joined this conference call with Trump supporters uh, over, and made an urgent plea. Um, after assuring them that the election had been stolen, he told them uh, they had to go to their uh, to the Capitol on uh, Jan- or January 6th, descend upon the Capitol, as he said. Uh, he urged those on the call to make their presence felt at the Capitol in a way that would intimidate members of Congress, telling the group they had to ensure that lawmakers inside the building understand that people are breathing down their necks. See how these slithery little bastards go, yeah. oh, I didn't specifically call for violence. It's like, okay, we'll ask Frank how, where that falls in the law, because mm-hmm. I'm, okay. He pledged Trump was going to take action on his own. Uh, he was going to impose martial law, as we heard, and then the whole... Uh, Biden will never be in the White House, then I can tell you. Yes, sir. I will, I'm sorry. I have a little bit of an update. Apparently, um, according to uh, Mayor Eric Adams' office, Frank James is now considered the suspect in the okay. subway shooting. So okay. that has changed in the last few minutes. Okay, cool. Well, we will, t- again, talk to Frank Fuguzzi about all that. Yeah. It, it, those of us that are not law enforcement but have just la- watched a lot of crime shows, we're yeah. like, that's the guy, obviously. He did it. And then they're like, oh, we have to caution you that he might just be. They're like, the truck could have been stolen. Right, that's all that stuff. Well, that you know, could have. You don't maybe... want a Richard Jewell situation, right? You know exactly. I knew that was the guy. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, thank God his gun jammed. I guess he had a lot more magazines and a lot more. Yeah. There was obviously a lot more planned, but 
you know, that we should have to on these stupid, the stupid gun debate we have every time, that we should have to, you know, hope for luck like that, that a gun jams or that, you know, he doesn't get to the other magazines or whatever, right? Yeah. It is, uh, it's just insane. Okay. Um, uh, oh, speaking of uh, January 6th. You know, I have always said I am on the Veruca assault portion of the, you know, uh, on the scale of I would like it now, Daddy. I would like justice now. We know. I w- uh, okay. You lost the Daddy, dynamic. I want it Charlie now. Pierce agreed. He, I, that you know, we should make the criminal referral. That I'm just, def- I'm, I'm, always, I'm just tired of always going. Oh, it's going to look political, or oh, we might make Republicans mad, or oh, blah 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 blah. All right, but some legal minds that I respect have chimed in, and I get it. Ask Frank what he thinks as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Joyce Vance said, a referral from Congress to DOJ isn't a panacea. The committee's job is to tell the American people what they've learned in the most compelling way possible. A referral won't influence DOJ, but could be offered to a jury as evidence that any prosecution is political. While it's true, Trump will cry witch hunt no matter what. A formal referral could be admissible evidence. No need to risk it. Need, uh, need to look no further than the acquittal hung jury in the Michigan governor case to see how high the risk of jury nullification is in cases like this. That was my legal Beautiful. You're beautiful. Shh, calm down. Calm down. Well, this is what Jody said. The important thing is telling the American people is these televised yeah. hearings. But I just feel like if there is such overwhelming evidence, I feel like, you know, I just feel like any tool that's necessary to put pressure on the DOJ. But Renato Mariotti, uh, also a former prosecutor, agreed with Joyce. He said there may be political reasons for Congress to refer to refer Donald Trump to DOJ for criminal prosecution, but legally it has no practical effect. DOJ is already well aware of Trump's conduct, and a referral won't make them more likely to investigate or charge him. Um, okay. I just say by any means necessary pressure on the DOJ. I mean, I will say we've assaulted the National Archives, and they're, they— are investigating that, right. remember? So we'll get to that as well. Is it worth saying that the DOJ probably is, knows more than Congress does at this point yes. and what the January 6th panel yes. knows? Because they have a different leverage yeah. against these people but when they clearly, bring them in. clearly, the January 6th committee, including our friend Adam Schiff right. and others, mm-hmm. <coughs> they know have expressed know. concern that the DOJ is going to do anything because they that was all that last hearing was a lot of shot across the bow at DOJ. So, I, you know... Okay, I'll just, I will try. I, sh- 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 ba, ba, ba. You're pretty stuck me. Ah, okay. Joyce Dance calms me. Her chickens calm her, and then she calms me. <laughs> oh, also, did you see? We got, I got Team Justice stickers from Glenn Kirshner and also a lovely handwritten note about the loss of my beautiful Eric Bollard and my beautiful Jamie. Yes. Mm, Team Justice. That's us. Okay. I'm putting that right there. I'm going to put mine on my microphone. Okay.